Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a Morning Market Prep video for July 7th, 2022. Well, yesterday, boy, I've got to tell you, all of this data-driven uh, chop has been really frustrating. Even though we've you know, closed one, two, three, four days with white candles positive um, by the end of the day, it certainly has been a choppy, frustrating uh, move in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, doggone it, it has just been frustrating. If you guys remember a week ago, I suggested there may be that possibility that we end up in a choppy range um, waiting for earnings. Um, unfortunately, that's kind of where we've been. We've been chopping back and forth in a range. Now, although some of the indicators favor a bit of an upside move in the market, we still certainly have a big challenge here for the bulls to overcome with lots of price resistance above, both um, in price action and technicals. However, we still have that little bit of hope of that upside move. We do need a relief rally in the market, but let's watch those resistance levels above and the technicals aren't helping um, either. Notice that we did um, test the 20 day moving average yesterday and we're trying to pop above it this morning, but we'll also want to notice the 34 and 50 day moving average up there continuing to be a resistance level with a substantial resistance level just above that area. So keep a close eye on that. Our um, SPY, well, very much the same. We um, lots of price movement, man. We've covered a lot of points in the market, but at the end of the day, we haven't changed anything and we haven't really improved much of anything in the market. The good news, however, remains that we continue to hold this higher low, which gives us that hope that we might be able to push through but with all these resistance levels above and um, a data-driven market with lots of data coming our way today, boy, anything is possible. So keep an eye on that and remember those technicals here on the chart of the SPY are not bullish. Now the SPY had a little bit better luck yesterday and that's simply because they're really pushing hard on the giant techs right now. I don't know what's inspired that other than earnings are coming in anticipation of those earnings, but they've been pushing on those techs and that's been providing that levity in all the indexes because we know those big techs now kind of reside in all of the three major indexes. So keep an eye on that. Now, if we were to look at our QQQ, QQQ had the best of it yesterday, pushing back up, but unfortunately we still haven't been able to break out of that downtrend. We're testing it, we're trying, we're pushing up in that area, but we wanna keep in mind we have significant price resistance levels in this chart to deal with. And if we can get through, um, that downtrend, that doesn't necessarily mean that will hold. We've seen before where we pop through on some kind of news event, pop through and then end up reversing the very next day. So watch those resistance levels closely as we do push up there. Remember though, we do have that higher low and we're just hopefully trying to squeak our way up through there. Now um, we have the IWM, oh by the way the technicals here also still very challenging and we have to remember that that 50 day moving average is going to add to that resistance level here in the NASDAQ. If we look at our IWM, IWM, well IWM was the only index that ended up closing down yesterday we had a lot of stocks below the 200 day moving average. And as you can see, we continue to move in this downtrend. And if I tuck that in and just kind of use that as an outlier right here, you can see that we can actually pop through there and then still reverse and come back down. So what we need on all of these charts, we need to see that we break through and prove to hold a higher low. That's what we need to see before we can gain a whole lot of confidence and we continue have to 
to look at these resistance levels in the chart and the downtrend and the technical resistance continues to be the major obstacle for us to overcome. If we take a look at our VIX, now our VIX tried yesterday to uh, pull back a little bit more. We continue to hold on to that trend, just barely holding on to that trend, and we're holding on to this support area. So it really is going to going to depend how we react to day to today, whether or not we're going to be able to push down through that, giving that little bit of bullish confidence to the market, continuing this little downtrend, or if we reverse off of this support and pop up. So uh, your guess is as good as mine. Just watch that carefully. The way the market has been traveling and, and reacting to, with big point moves and, and violent swings, I think anything is possible. So just be really careful and cautious. Don't over trade or get overconfident in this market on either direction because we could whipsaw or reverse very quickly. And then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 gives us the best hope that we remain down here in the lower side of T2122. We've, in the last three days, we have pushed down into here and then rallied and then pushed back down um, in the morning and then rallied and pushed back down in the morning and rallied. And as you can see, we ended up the day here in T2122 in this mid range here. So what it says still is that we, if we can find reason for bullishness, and I do kind of favor this idea that we get a little bit more bullishness in the market before we head into earnings, because I do think earnings could be really challenging. And if we can push up here, I would be looking for credit, bear call credit spreads, short trade positions, uh, possibly heading into those earnings reports. Now, um, if those bears find that energy here today in some of these data points, then there certainly is an open space that we can move lower if those bears find reason to engage. So keep a close eye on that. Our T2107, as I mentioned before, boy, that was pretty ugly yesterday. At one point in time, it was down here at new lows. And clearly it's not a very bullish situation with around 15% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. But when we see uh, numbers that low, it also says, well, we're so oversold in the short term that we might get a relief rally. Just keep in mind, if we can um, relieve some of this pressure with a bullish move, we've got a lot of resistance in this chart above along with all of that massive downtrend that we need to overcome. So a lot of work needs to be done here before we can really say um, we've turned the corner here on T2107. Our T2108 held up pretty well yesterday. We saw those stocks above the 40-day moving average. Well, trying to gain a little ground, kind of gave up a little ground. Um, ended up the day kind of splitting hairs here. But as you can see, pushing some resistance in that chart or trying, certainly we have this double bottom type pattern down in here that looks pretty good that gives us a little bit of hope that we can continue to move higher. We're still going to have to get through some of these resistance levels in the chart and we do have to remember that boy that downtrend is still in play and we have a lot of work before we can really correct that. And again 28-29% of the stocks holding above their 40-day kind of tough to to make a big bullish case on that but it is nice to see a little bit of relief um, coming into that sector anyway let's take a look um, our t2101 and i'm just going to pass by this really quick our t2101 really probably not giving us great data here to hang our hat on and the reason is even though we've had these days where we have rallied at the end of the day i want you to notice we've been doing that on rather low volume levels in fact the the big gap down days where we, we where we sell off initially and then rally back up have been our best days um, in volume. Other than that, the volume has been very, very weak overall. And we're seeing a lot of, well, just uncertainty, I think, here in the market. Remember, um, next Thursday is the official 
um, start of third quarter earnings. Uh, that's when the big banks, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, will start to report. So it is entirely possible, guys, that we could remain in this choppy range here in the market for um, that length of time. I've seen that kind of price action before where we get, um, we hop and pop a little bit on um, economic data and, and news events, but we just kind of get locked into a range and we struggle to break out of that range um, until we start to, well, we break that log jam with um, the, the beginning of earnings. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, um, this is what I've been talking about this morning, the news events that can move us around. We've got an ADP report this morning. Um, ADP is actually suggesting that um, private payrolls increased. Mm, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that that's correct because I think we're starting to see a little bit of a trend of layoffs and, and slowing of that jobs um, field. So watch that closely. We're going to have international trading goods. International trading goods is looking for an improvement on that deficit situation, a massive de deficit situation, but they're looking for that to improve just a little bit. So watch that. Jobless claims here this morning, um, that one could be interesting because we've really started to see a little tiny indication that claims might be coming up so watch that closely and then we've got natural gas and petroleum status we do have a couple of fed speakers out here to keep a, a keep an eye on remember james bullard is one of our most hawkish uh, fed members um, sometimes when he speaks he moves the market so watch that closely and then we have um, some short-term bond auctions which could be interesting Interesting to pay attention to just simply because we now have a 210 bond inversion that's pointing toward recession so watch that closely fed balance sheet comes in after that but I don't know that we're gonna get any major concern over that we know that they're rolling off that balance sheet and that we're still near nine trillion dollars in debt at the federal reserve if we take a look uh friday morning we want to think about this as we plan forward friday morning is that employment situation number interestingly enough adp is predicting more jobs and all these and and yet the employment situation uh, consensus number is suggesting a decline so we'll want to keep a close eye on that tomorrow morning that can be one of those uh, market um, reports that really move us substantially so can't tell you if it's going to be up or down but be prepared for it and then note we've got some more fed speakers as we head into the weekend let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar we've got a few um, on that list thursday is typically our biggest day of earnings reports yet for notability there's not much on there for notability remember we're just kind of resting and waiting until uh third quarter uh season begins but we do have a couple here to pay attention to h-e-l-e um, Helena Troy will be reporting today. It looks like um, it's moving lower here at the moment. Uh, probably um, disappointed on its report this morning. And for this afternoon, we're going to have uh, Levi Strauss will be reporting. Obviously been in an ugly, ugly downtrend. Trying to find a little bit of a floor here, but struggled with that yesterday and slipping through. So... Uh, that's going to be an important report to see if they can turn that around. And last but not least, uh, WDFC, um, oops, WDFC, uh, WD40 company. Uh, we'll want to watch this because this is a pretty nice pattern. Uh, this has put in a nice higher low here on this chart, holding up bullishly heading into this earnings report. So I would keep an eye on that this afternoon. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up.
so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. I do try to answer all those comments. I want you to know that I do read all of those comments. And um, I work as hard as I can to get rid of all of the spam um, out of the channel. Um, uh, but um, it's, it's a constant effort to do that. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone that does take the time to do that and continues to click those thumbs up buttons on other comments on the channel. That does help the channel to grow. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not stocks that I um, would suggest um, uh, to anyone without your own review and your decision whether this um, stock meets your risk requirements in the market. Remember, you should never ever just follow someone else's trade idea without understanding the why of the trade, understanding the risk of the trade, and whether or not it fits your own personal trading style. Let's take a look at um, a couple here. Um, as you guys know, I've been mentioning UPS here. UPS continues to kind of chop around in a little bit of price range, but I like this the way this chart has set up in pushing to the upside a little higher low um, you might you could easily be an owner of this now or you could easily wait for a little while if this rests back into this trend before it can deal with this price resistance and break through to the upside I do think however one of the one of the certain trends uh, is people are buying more and more online and uh, these shippers are going to be very very important to us so keep an eye on these if there's anything that benefited or could benefit through maybe a recession is bargain shopping online and getting those things shipped directly to your door so you don't have to spend the money on gas. So watch those closely. There may be some opportunities here. You may also want to um, take a quick look at um, healthcare. Now, healthcare is one of those things, even in a recessionary period, we're going to need. And um, if you've been watching the news, it seems like there's been a more of a crop up of, of um, uh, uh, pandemic um, related diseases is uh, continue to crop up and uh, create hate and discontent around the world in different places. So watch that closely. Healthcare is going to be one of those essential sectors that could continue to move to the upside. And um, I'll let you know that I do have a bias here because they did pick up a position here on XLV for a longer term hold just because I think it's one of the sectors that may benefit during a recession. So keep a close eye on this. Nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern um, with that chart looking a little bit higher here at the moment. So watch that closely. You might also want to keep an eye on stocks um, in the utility sector. Utility has been coming up and again it's one of those sectors it's one of the things that we're going to need um, in um, a recession so watch that closely um, they've come up here pretty sharply we still have a lot of work to do notice in XLU we have resistance right here in the chart that we need to get through we also have um, a significant um, downtrend that we need to overcome here in that chart so may not be quite ready for prime time but I do think it might be worth watching another place you want to be keeping an eye on is maybe in the defensive sector area food related stocks um, lower in discount um, um, retail things like um, Dollar General Dollar General has been moving up and looks like it's ready to possibly attack this all-time high Dollar General push up we've got a beautiful little upside trend going on here in what I used to call a stepper pattern as you can see we just move up step over consolidate move up step over consolidate move up if we can punch through that area there's no reason to say that we can't just step up and cross over and look for that next upside opportunity so keep an eye on Dollar General a DLTR Dollar Tree is also making a move here recently breaking its downtrend now, I wouldn't want to chase this one because it's moved up quite a ways already, but let's see if this can rest or pull back and start that 
more of that stepper pattern in here and look for that next opportunity in Dollar Tree. I think it's worth keeping an eye on. Also, I would keep an eye on some of the pandemic favored uh, favorite stocks that are coming back around. Um, um, we saw things like Etsy, um, Etsy coming, whoops. Etsy coming up out of this bottom. Notice the break of the downtrend. Now, Etsy had just huge results in uh, during the pandemic. They were just really, really strong moves. And as you can see, breaking that downtrend, breaking through some resistance in the chart, any rest or pullback sets up that upside trend here above resistance. And you can see that we're pushing above that 50-day moving average, creating what we call a rounded bottom breakout. So watch carefully for that. Other stocks in that same kind of area would be like um, snow. Snow is trying to come up through here, as you can see, holding up in that rounded bottom breakout pattern. I do think that's worth keeping an eye on. Watch these potential trends. We might need to rest a little bit more in here before we get going on some of these, but there are quite a few of these patterns starting to show up in charts. So keep a close eye on those. You might also want to be keeping an eye on some of those food sector stocks. Take a look at like Campbell Soup. Now, I know these are really, really boring um, stocks, but they pay strong dividend yields. And um, you can see we have a bullish pattern here in the chart where we've moved up into this zone and we're consolidating that move. If we can continue this bullishness here, we might find that next opportunity where that pops on through to the upside. Uh, been seeing moves in other uh, defensive sector stocks, um, food related stocks. Take a look at stocks like Hormel uh, moving up in that pattern. We're trying to break out of that downtrend, hold the higher low in here, and may have that opportunity to move up. We've been seeing CLX, Clorox, you know, just the things that we're going to keep needing even in a um, recessionary um, condition for the market. And you can see here that if we break that downtrend, holding the higher low here and then off to the off to the upside we go. And that's a pattern that we want to be looking for. Get through those downtrends, prove to hold and then look for that upside move to come into play. So quite a few of those out there in the market to be watching. Other places like PepsiCo, PepsiCo making a move back to the upside, trying to bust through that downtrend, holding the higher lows, moving on higher. So keep an eye on some of those food related stocks that are um, looking pretty good and um, in that defensive sector. One other place would be telecommunications. We're still going to need our phones. We're still going to need um, um, to, you know, who's going to give up their smartphone? We may not buy a new smartphone, but we're going to hold on to that smartphone pretty tightly. Notice that this pattern, an inverted head and shoulders pattern here setting up at, at a top, which is kind of interesting. If that were to break through, keep a close eye on that. And this is a strong divvy pair here in the market on AT&T. So watch that closely. Um, other stocks like LUM and um, little smaller companies been struggling to get going here, but we still have that same pattern where we're breaking the downtrend. We're trying to hang on to some higher lows. So watch for those opportunities if they can start picking up. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to say thank you to all the kind comments. You know, these videos do take quite a little bit of time to put together and do all the research for the stocks and things like that. And I do appreciate those comments and support of that effort. You guys are truly awesome. So thank you, everyone. I do um, truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take... Um, um, take some time and have a great day of trading today. Be safe. Watch this price action. It could be very choppy. Be careful. Don't over trade. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the best, everyone.